If you are searching for an apartment in Berlin, this video is for you. We have put in a lot of effort and designed various categories based on the salary slabs. So we will tell you in this video in which area of Berlin will be smart for you to get an apartment provided that you get the best quality of life here. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Landed in Germany. I am Manhar. I am Shubham. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe it because we make lots of interesting content on Germany and Europe and I guarantee that it would be worth of your time. So we have divided this video in three parts. First will be what are those four categories we have designed for you on the basis of salary slabs. Then we will tell you how you can increase your chances for getting an apartment in those districts that we will tell you and how you can make your application stand out. Third will be what can you do to prevent yourself from housing scams which are going around in Berlin? So these are the four categories we have designed for you. First is high spenders, second is tug of war, third will be budget friendly and fourth will be saver's choice. So let's talk about the first category, high spenders. We are calling this high spenders as the name suggests people who are earning a lot of money and are ready to spend a big part of their salary in rents in these areas usually tend to live here. And these areas of Berlin are near to the center and consists of most of the historic spots there. These are the main districts in high spenders category. Mitte, Pankow slash Prenzlauerberg, Charlottenburg, Wilmersdorf, and Treptow, Kopenick. These all districts have lots of tourist attractions and lots of famous popular spots. If we talk about uh, Charlottenburg, we have Kurfürstdamm there and Kaiser Wilhelm Church. Prenzlauerberg in Pankow is a very posh residential area which has lots of good restaurants and shops and international shopping options. In Mitte, you can see very high-end apartment buildings, new as well as old. And in Mitte, you would see that Alexanderplatz, the main center of Berlin, is there. And in Mitte, you would see lots of options for nightclubs, high-end restaurants and bars. Treptow is famous for its green area and its family friendliness. So in this high spenders category, the average rent of up to 50 meter square apartment goes up to like 1800 euros. And we recommend if you are earning more than 85,000 euros, per year, you should get an apartment here. And in these areas, you would see that there are lots of rich people from various uh, ethnicity backgrounds. But especially in Treptow, Kopenick, you would see there's a majority of German people living over there. Now, our second category is tug of war. It is called tug of war because of the people who want to have best of both the worlds. They want to have a good lifestyle, a good standard of living, but they also want to keep a check on their expenses. So this category consists of the districts like Friedrichstein, Kreuzberg, Schoenberg, Steglitz and Zellendorf. Kreuzberg is very famous among young people because it have a great nightlife scene. Many international restaurants you can find there. Temple of Schoenberg is a perfect residential place to raise your children and with many options to play and study. And finally Steglitz and Zellendorf. Here you can live quietly with lots of green spaces, some cultural places and lots of good shopping opportunities. This mixture of things makes this area attractive for families, the children, pensioners and also for students. The rent in this category tug of war can go up to 1300 euros for a 50 meter square apartment per month. So we recommend that if your family income is more than 75,000 to 85,000 per year, then you should definitely go for this area. And if we talk about ethnicity, Kreuzberg is really famous among young international people. And in Tempelhof and Steglitz, you would see that these areas are majorly popular among German families. So we are on our third category now, which is budget friendly. As the name suggests, people who want to live on budget usually find the apartments here. And this category includes areas like Neukölln, Lichtenberg and Reinickendorf. Neukölln is basically popular for its chilled vibe and variety of vegan eateries, vintage shops and markets. Neukölln bursts with secret spots and small experimental restaurants unlike any other. For Lichtenberg, depending on your point of view, some young people see this area as hip, but others say it's beginning to become outdated. And since you are on the hunt for a budget housing, lower prices here can work in your favor. Berlin Lichtenberg station has connections to different areas in Berlin, so you feel right inside the hub. In Reinickendorf, the neighborhood is the perfect mixture of bustling industrial areas, charming lakes and beautiful homes. Reinickendorf is also very well connected like Lichtenberg. So the average rent in these areas for 50 meter square apartments are roughly 1100 euros. And we recommend if you are earning 65,000 to 75,000 yearly, you should get an apartment. And Neukölln and Reinickendorf basically has a majority of Turkish and Arab community. And ethnicity wise, you would see that Neukölln and Reinickendorf, there is a majority of Turkish and Arab community. And in Lichtenberg, you would see a large Vietnamese community and you would also see 
uh, major German working families over there. Our fourth category is savers choice. No matter how much money you earn, but if you like to go big on savings, you can live here. This category is not very big. The areas which are here are Marzahn, Hellersdorf and Spandau. If you talk about the popularity of these areas, although these areas are away from the center, but connectivity is still very good. These are very safe areas with the lowest crime rates you can find in Berlin. Perfect to raise a family. So every rent in these areas go around 900 euros. So we recommend if you are earning 55 to 65,000 euros annually, you should look for an apartment here. So if we finally talk about the ethnicity in this area, Marzan Hellersdorf consists of mainly Russian and Vietnamese communities and Spandau is a mix of everyone. So now we are getting to the good part. How to increase the chances when you are looking uh, for an apartment in Berlin? Germans are very fond of paperwork, so make sure that you have a plethora of paperwork arranged in your file very well if, when you go in front of them. So let's talk about the necessary documents in an order which you should prepare in that file to increase your chances. So first document you should prepare is your resident permit and visa status in Germany. If you have a long term visa, it is a very good thing. Second will be your scanned copies of your passport. Third will be the job contract. In Germany, if you have a long job contract, that means you have passed your probationary period, that will be a bonus advantage. Fourth will be your past three to six months salary slip, which is your income proof, basically. What owners are looking for there is that your salary is at least three times of your rent. That will ensure them that you will be able to pay rent on time. Fifth document will be ML doom of your current apartment. Sixth document is the rent clearance document which you can request from your landlord or rental agency that proves that you have paid all the rent so far on time. Seventh document and one of the very most important documents is Shufa. Let's talk about what is Shufa. Shufa is like a credit rating agency of Germany and they do a credit check on their German residents. If you have a good Shufa score, you can get a bank loan and an apartment too. But if you have a bad Shufa score, it shows that you are not financially stable and you can face many hurdles in activities like these. Shufa collects the data from your financial history, your credit cards, your unpaid bills, your uh, court judgments and many such things and try to calculate your Shufa score. You can go to websites like www.mindshufa.de and check your credit score or the Shufa rating by just paying 30 euros. Let's start with the bonus added documents, which can increase your chances in a very hidden way. Liability insurance in Germany is kind of an insurance by which as a renter, you prevent yourself from many unnecessary expenses. If you'd like to know more about liability insurance, we have made a video on it in detail. Check out our video. I will also mention the link in the description box. The next extra document you need is a one page cover letter written in German. In this document, you need to give information about yourself and your family if they are moving in with you. What do you do professionally? What are your qualifications? What are your hobbies? And if you like, you can also put a couple of photographs of you and your family. Basically, you need to give a personal touch to your application so your application stands out. Next point will be you can create a pre-written message in German to send out to German owners so, so that you don't have to do it every time. Just copy that message and send out to as many owners, as many apartments you are applying to. It will increase your response speed and make the process faster. The next point we would recommend to increase your chances is to try to schedule viewings as soon as possible. If you try to push the viewings to a later date, this will drastically decrease your chances because the people who want apartment really badly, they will go to the viewings on the first days only, right? And try to go to the viewings as soon as possible. Do not reschedule them or either send your friends or relatives if you are not able to make it to increase your chances in finding the apartment very soon. Scams in German housing market. If the listing is too good to be true, it probably is. That's the golden rule to identify a scam in Germany. If you are seeing an advertisement of an apartment that is too good to be true, how you can say that is the listing price of that apartment is too low compared to the other apartments in that location or the photographs of that apartment looks like photographs taken from a hotel room, then you should be on your guard. If the owner of that apartment is replying too fast, too quick, that is another red flag. And if you are not sure of what price to expect in that location, you should browse other apartments in that location on that platform. You will get a general idea what price should be. Another thing that you can check is since when the owner is active on that platform, if the profile is relatively new, it means that there is something fishy. And please don't sign 
any contracts before the viewing of the apartment or read the contract carefully before signing it. Other scam is owners will try to get the deposit out of you. Before sending out the contract, before offering any viewing, they will say that deposit the amount first and I will offer you the viewing afterwards or send out the keys to you because I have some health issues. I live outside of Germany. I cannot travel that much. These are all the excuses. They are not the real thing. So don't fall in that trap. And if owner specially asks to transfer money through MoneyGram or Western Union, pay special attention because many scams in Germany are getting through with these portals. One of the most famous scams in housing world in Germany is Airbnb scam. Somebody from Airbnb will approach you and ask for your ideal listing. They will ask for very intricate details and create an ideal listing according to you on the Airbnb. They will send out a link to you and as you have already told them what your ideal listing is, you will find an apartment which is completely mind blowing. And what you will see there is that apartment is obviously fake. They will ask to book an apartment from the portal. They will ask for a money deposit. And once you do that, your money will be gone and you will never get an apartment. So on Airbnb, identify that listing is how new. If it is relatively very new and not many people are following that listing, that owner profile is very new and fakey, something looks fishy there in the owner's profile, then don't book it. I hope you like this video because we have done lots of research and put lots of effort in creating this video and presenting the content to you. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel Landed in Germany.